my crows because um, the thing is, you know, is that it, it's one thing when you're little, you know. I mean, I, I when we were kids, we really liked Led Zeppelin records. We still really like Led Zeppelin records, and uh, and we like doing gigs with them, you know. And we've known Robert for a long time, and we've known Jimmy now for a year or so. Uh, we played shows with them last summer in Europe. But you know, when you know when you're in your when you're doing your own thing, you know, it's like uh, we're not like. I, I mean, I hope this doesn't come off wrong, but we're not like oh, you know, because we've been in a band a long time too now. You know, not as long as them, not as long as other people, but you know, we got to do our thing, you know, and um like to come to Argentina for the first time it's good you know I mean um, we don't let it you know it's not here you know it's like okay we have to do our show <laughs> you know what I mean and so it's uh, you know everyone goes wow you know usually the people who aren't in a band they're like what's it like you know and it's like oh it's a gig you know, <laughs> look at the mysterious hand. Oh. It's like, it's a gig and it's good, you know, but the most important thing to us is playing our music and, and hopefully translating what we do to the audience, you know, and, uh, you know, when we're on stage, we don't even care about who we're who else is on the bill because that's our time, you know, you have to be in, you know, here and here, you know, and we play music, so.
got to count on calling the mama. I'm sure I had to handle now. Yes, I ran.
to punk rock you know and like the blues country music Bob Dylan Graham Parsons uh, folk music Parliament Funkadelic you know Sliding the Family Stone and then later when we started to play rock and roll then we like Led Zeppelin you know but when I was little you know we liked you know it was more The Clash X Dead Kennedy you know and uh so, you know, it, that, that music seemed like, you yeah, know, rock and roll, you know, Led Zeppelin. <laughs> you know, but yeah, we, I mean, I love their records. They made great records. <laughs>
I mean, my family loved loved music, but uh, it wasn't, you know, th- it was sort of weird, you know, because it wasn't like, um, you know, it wasn't like they made us learn to play instruments or anything, because they they actually didn't want us to play instruments. I mean, you know, that I, I don't know why, you know. I mean, maybe they maybe. I mean, I think about it differently than my brother, you know. You know, two brothers can remember totally different things from growing up, you know. It's so weird. The older me and Rich get, it's like, I go, don't you remember that? He's like, I don't remember that. So I have a little more negative view of it than he does, you know. But, um, yeah, I got to grow up with a lot of different kinds of music. And 
I got to grow up knowing some history, you know. I got I I, I knew where music came from, whether it was African in origin or uh, European in origin, you know. And um, that was cool, you know. I mean, at least I I think I have a respect for tradition, you know. I don't. People always go, oh, the way you look, the seventies and. I was this big in the 70s, you know, I don't remember that. I just know that music is, if it's like a, for a bad analogy, if music is a river, you know, it's like you have an inner tube, you know, and you flow, you jump in and you float on it for a while and then you get out. But that same water starts up there and goes out there, you know. So you're just part, you're just part of a living tradition, you know.
Yeah, you know, I don't think about success. You know, mm-hmm. success to me is it has nothing to do with. Oh wow, you know, you could be a rock star. I mean, yeah, before that happens, you think, oh, I want to be a rock star. Every kid who's in a band wants to be a rock star. Even if they don't want to, Green Day, Smashing Pumpkins, all those fucking bands, you know, whether they want to or not, deep down, that's what they want, you know. They sign the record deal and they make the video. When I was talking about tradition, after that, uh, the tradition of being a musician is so much more important. I mean, I I think people... uh, consider success, you know, fame and money, you know, and I'm going to stay 21 my whole life, you know, and uh, you can't do that, you know, and it's not interesting and it, uh, it's not real and you're never going to be happy, you know, you're never going to have something, you know, there's two paths you can take. I mean, luckily, people like the Black Crows, you know, and... Um, I mean, I feel happier now than I did then, you know. I mean, I used to be really depressed about it, you know. It used to, it used to really make you feel, you know, wow, you know, what am I supposed to do now? (laughs) You know, like, okay, everyone wants to know what I have to say. Everyone wants to know what you do when you're not. And, you know, the more you do it, the more you realize, all I want to do is be a better songwriter. All I want to do is be a better person. All I want to do is know more. I want to learn more. And uh I think wisdom and knowledge and music is more important than fame and money and staying young, you know. I mean, I like getting older. It, you know, it mellows you out a lot, you know, and uh it's cool, you know. I I'm not wrapped up into uh I mean, it's easy to sit in front of a video camera and say I'm not wrapped up in superficial things, but you can see where that a lot, that's not going to get you anywhere. You know, I mean, music. If I wasn't in the Black Crows, I, I I would still sit around my house with friends and and play music. You know, and jam, you know, play clubs or whatever. I mean, it's, it's just your life. You know, music is your life. You know. <laughs> Come 
keep the lock of hair in her pocket. She wears a cross wrap around her neck. Well, this lady's a head from a little boy. And the cross, someone she has not met. Like old people. <laughs> no, I mean, I know what you're saying, you know. Uh, yeah, it's weird, you know. And like I was saying, as far as our relationship to big musicians, it's like talking about punk rock. You know, when we were kids, it didn't matter. Like, ugh, why would you want to be a good musician? I just want to go, you know, because you have all this energy, you know. And, you know, now that we're older, that's silly, you know, I mean, but that's cool. If you, I mean, the energy is still there, you know, it's like my brother Rich and Mark Ford, they're, they're great guitar players. I mean, to me, um, and I love to, they keep growing, you know, all the time and Steve and Johnny and Eddie, I mean, uh. That's a weird thing, you know. I mean, all of a sudden you're just like these punk kids, you know. I mean, then you say, I'm going to play rock and roll music, which is, to some people, that just pissed them off so much. What do you mean? Why do you, what, what, whoa, you know, it's like, wait a minute, what kind of music are you playing? It's like rock and roll music, man, you know. No, you can't do that, you know, because I was there, you know. 
you don't know nothing. Yeah, and you can't play nothing, you know. Like, we're going to play something. It's, uh, like I said, there's two paths, you know. I mean, we're wrapped up into that, you know, music and more music and uh, encompassing blues and country, bluegrass, jazz, folk music, rock and roll music, uh, R&B, funk, you know, all those things. Um, I think being into your instruments and being a musician and, you know, me wanting to be a better singer, those aren't things that you sit around and work on. I have to be better, you know. It's sort of more transcendental than that, you know. It happens. It's subconscious. And, uh, and you'll never be good enough, you know. So that's what I was talking about, two paths. You know, you can buy, you, you know, don't believe your press, baby, you know. That's, that's the motto, you know. Don't believe what, you know, it's like getting back to egos. So many young bands become successful and they think it's because it's them. Like they did something. It's like, no, man, it's not you. It's the audience and it's this thing called music. You just tapped into this bigger thing. It's bigger than you. And you have to respect that. And, and like I said, playing music is wisdom. The more we learn, the more we can give. You know what I mean? And uh, music to us is giving, not taking, you know.